Hi, this is Kennedy from Statsim5. In this video, we will use SPSS to test whether our dataset is normally distributed, which is a prerequisite for several statistical tests such as the t-test and the ANOVA. Alright, let's get right into it. We want to test if the exam scores of a group of students meet the normal distribution assumption. To do that, go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore. In the explore dialog box, move the variable you want to test for normality into the dependent list space here. In case you want to test normal distribution between groups, say using their sex, you can move the sex variable to the factor list here. But in this tutorial, we are not going to concern ourselves with that. Now click the plots button. In the pop-up window, you need to check the box here you can choose to check these boxes as well but in this tutorial we'll just check them off now click on continue click on ok now in the output lots of results are shown but in testing for normality spss provides two main methods to assess whether our data is normally distributed we can refer to the test of normality table here or graphically using the normal KQ plot here. On the graphical method, which is the normal KQ plot, you would need quite a bit of experience to be able to tell from this graph that the data meets the normal distribution assumption or not and can be very subjective. On the other hand, the numerical options found on the test of normality table are more objective, so we will rely on that for our tutorial. Now, the test of normality table presents results from two well-known tests of normality. The kolmogorov smirnov test is mostly used when your sample size or the dataset is more than 2000. But in this tutorial, our dataset is less than 2000, so we will be using the shapiro work test. Now, in interpreting these results, the rule is that our data does not abuse the normal distribution assumption if the p-value of the shapiro work test is higher than our alpha value of 0.05. Now, since the Shapiro work test from our tutorial shows a p-value of 0.185, which is higher than our alpha value of 0.05, we can conclude that our data is normally distributed. So with this, we can go ahead and run parametric tests such as t-test and ANOVA with this dataset. Alright, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Kindly like, subscribe and hit the notification button.